All right, guys, so we're here at Paradise Dynasty. What they're known for is basically having a shallow bone dish which has eight different flavors. And they're not like your normal pork flavors. Also, all these dumplings are made from different dyed colored dough, so the presentation should be very cool. I can't wait to try this out. We got a veggie because it's, it's kind of hard to find wow, vegetables in the Philippines. Um, and this crispy Sichuan chicken looks delicious. So this chicken is kind of, uh, it's got a lot of the spices going on, but it's got just a small hint of cumin and it, it's just, it's really good. Really good. So delicious. We got that beef tripe. Pretty much standard. Guys, it's Shell and Bow here. Let's check it out. That wow. looks awesome. Wow. Can you say we're Shell and Bow, sir? Ta da! Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm, I'm a little intimidated right now. I, I don't know how to approach this. Everyone else is frozen. Oh, no. Shelly's going for it. No, no, no. I'm going nope. for the photo. She's going for the photo. <laughs> Yeah. Just looking at the instructions about how to eat this. I mean, it is, it is, you definitely got to do it the right way. All right. Are we ready to start? I think I'm ready to eat these, yeah. So we finished the original, went past the uh, ginseng. The ginseng was pretty nice, uh, very subtle hint of it. I could, I could hardly taste it. So that was good yeah. because I don't really like ginseng anyway. Right. So far, the skin though, looks a little thicker than I've had in other places. and. The filling is okay, but the soup is excellent. The soup is really good. Let's go to the next one. Wow. Foie gras. I love duck, so I'm guessing I will like goose. Wow, that black duck is really good. Foie gras are all right. Okay. What? It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I, I still like the original the best. Now, next up is the black truffle. Huh. It's a bread. It's not what I meant. Mmm. Well, that is, oh, it's super intense. Wow. I like that. That is really good. You could, you could really taste the truffle in the soup. Cool. Yeah, the nutty the nutty flavor really gets to you. That's that's kind of nice. Wow. All right. Huh. Yeah, the cheese. Okay. That one so far has been the most interesting, I think, the truffle one. And the most intense in flavor. Mm. It's the most different. <laughs> One that I've had from the original, definitely. Okay, the next one up is the cheesy one. This one I'm kind of afraid of because it just look, it looks toxic. I mean, this is not what normal food looks like. It looks very processed, but let's check it out anyway. Mm. Okay, there's no smell. You don't like the crab? Okay, so um, this, is, this is kind of interesting. This kind of tastes like Kind of tastes like cheddar cheese, right? You guys getting like a? It was a very like subtle hint. I like it. It's all right. I think it's a little tacky, to be honest. But it's not. It's not horrible, actually. Yeah, mm. yeah the cheese in here definitely reminds <laughs> me of like, kind of like Ritz cracker cheese. That's kind of what it's like. It's like you, you put a little chunk of that cheddar cheese in oh, yeah. the dumpling. Okay, definitely not my favorite right. one. Um, I'm ready to try the car. But not bad. Not bad. Next one up. This skin is very nice on all of them. Crab row. This one should be delicious. Wow. Hmm? Alright, I mean, there's actually less of a it's crab taste that. in this. It's more of a fishy taste. Um, but it's good. It works. It definitely works. The soup is very savory. It works. I think this one needs a little bit of the vinegar. Oh. God, I'm so bad with chopsticks. Now, my most anticipated. We got more food coming in. Are you done, sir? The garlic one now. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, garlic one's pretty simple. If you like garlic, you're gonna like this. If you don't like garlic, you're not gonna like it. But again, like all the other ones, it's not overpowering. Hmm. All right. This one also needs a little now bit of vinegar. Now I know I need I can just dig in. Shelly mentioned how that most of the flavor is actually in the soup and not in the meat. 
which is what prevents it from being like too overpowering. Yeah. All right, we're going to the last one, the bright red one. All right. Oh man, it's chicken. Oh wow. This one works for me. I think this is my favorite one, actually. It's, yeah. It's nice. You you never expect this, like, I never thought of this, but the Citroen with the Shaolin Bao is, this is terrific, guys. The one I'm ending on is going to be my favorite one. Yeah. Mm. That works, right? Yeah. This this is a good idea, guys. The original is mm. really good. I love the Fogwan black truffle and the Citroen. That was awesome. All right. I'm going to finish eating, and I'll give you my last remarks later on, once I'm finished with this meal. Oh my god, we're done. I ate like too many chili seeds. My mouth is on fire. Is that a good meal, guys? You enjoy that? Fantastic. Yeah. And check that out. Marble Dragon. Pretty intense. So, uh, my verdict is this. Um, the Shaolin Bao actually there are, they're good. On a scale of one to ten, I would say they're seven. So it's definitely not the anti foam level. Like you even see the prep area, they don't have as many people preparing. It's not as they probably don't have it down as well as the anti foam does. But I definitely give them an A for creativity, uh, for presentation. I mean, the idea of a rainbow shallow bone is brilliant. Um, the one shallow bone that stuck out in my mind was the Shitran one. I think that's great idea. It's definitely not orthodox. I mean, none of these things are orthodox, but the Sutran one was really good. All the other ones, however, were kind of a mystery, to be honest. But the original and the Sutran were really good. What What is interesting about this place is... What actually surprised me was that the Shaolin Bao weren't the best things there. It was all the other dishes we had. Like, there was some kind of Chongqing crispy chicken that was so delicious. Definitely one of the best things I've had in, like, the last month. So, definitely recommend you guys check out this restaurant. I think the whole Shaolin Bao thing is a little gimmicky, but it's, it's worth checking out because it's kind of cool. And it's definitely, like, Instagram-worthy, right?